the 2010 NAACP Theater Festival and Awards highlights. The day of show has finally arrived. We see actors and singers performing their final sound checks before tonight's performances at the Directors Guild of America Theater in Hollywood. In just a few short hours, the red carpet will be rolled out for Hollywood's elite to make their grand entrance. Let's go inside and see where all the magic begins. And here we are behind the scenes, and this is Charles. Charles, tell us what's going on. Uh, well, we're getting it together. Putting it all together is what's going on. <laughs> and this is Ian joining him. Ian, how's it going? Tremendous. Just had a great tech award show. It ran on time. Good performances, good young kids from the AXO program and a few veterans. We're having a ball. What we're looking at right now is behind the scenes technical aspects of the show. The sound technicians and the producers and directors are making sure that all the sound and lighting is absolutely perfect for the performers. Right now we're doing a sound check for uh, Cheryl Lee Ralph for her number of the show. Uh, this is where, this is Command Central and as you look around this is where it all takes place. I'm trying to find uh, Miss Shirley Ralph, so we can get her her cues together with the video and, and her song and what have you. Oh, it's fabulous. It's so big, the room is so nice, and the sound is so good, and I just love the family feeling. Hi, my name is Don Morgan. I'm the lighting designer for the NAACP, actually Image Awards, but I'm doing the Theater Awards today. Um, here today with uh, Roland Nicholas, who uh, actually hired me to um, uh, do this for the television. And so right now, um, what we have, we're at the Directors Guild, and I'm just trying to um, make it as pretty as possible on last notice. and. Um, and having Cheryl back here, we've known each other. She just gave me the, the update of what she's wearing. She's wearing red tonight, Rob. Right now we're doing pre-show warm-ups. They're all testing their chops to make sure that we're ready for this evening. So right now we're just in the waiting stages. But it's going to be a wonderful night. So we can move on because Miss Robbie is waiting. Hey, this is E.P. McKnight. I'm coming to you from the Directors Guild, where they're having the NWACP Theater Festival Awards. And right now, I'm out on the balcony, and the sun is feeling really good. And to my right, we have our trophy table over there where things are going to be. And All right, talking with a representative from Walmart at uh, this evening's uh, Theater Award for the NWACP. Share with me, what is it that you do when you uh, come to a show like this before it happens? What do you look for, and what do you want to do? Sure, absolutely. Well, we are really excited to be here tonight. Um, we'll be accepting the uh, President's Award and we are very uh, honored to be here and uh, be able to do that. Um, tonight, the representative from Walmart who will be uh, accepting that award is Quad Kent, and he is our Senior Director for Human Resources for the Pacific Division for Walmart. He oversees um, over 135,000 Walmart associates in over five states here, um, including California. And We're backstage where the media credential facility is. We're backstage for all the media trying to get their proper ID so they can actually cover the show. The uh, poor public relations young lady has her hands full right now, trying to make sure that every name matches every name on the card. So uh, we're going to let her take care of her business right now.
I think this is the first stage of TV. This is the people that don't get the recognition that's in movies, that's in sitcoms, that's in TV. This is where it all starts. There's no cut, there's no take two. What you see is what you get, and you gotta make it work if you do mess up. This is the thespian level right here. Um, I think it's crucial to support urban theater um, because um, you know there's nowhere to hide on stage and uh, those of us with color and flavor, us African Americans, uh, we bring it and it's important to celebrate that and, uh, and nights like tonight um, bring that into the forefront and it's a, it's, a, it's a great evening. It all started with urban theater and when you look at how the industry is evolving you see it's cyclical and it's coming right back around and so it's great to be here tonight um, I think the quality of material on stage I've never done it that's the one thing I haven't done that I want to do so maybe next year I'll be here talking about my, my performance on stage I don't know people might ask the question why is it important to have urban theater as in the NAACP First of all, theater is very, very important because it remains our history. We're not boxed in by the things that television and film may want to have us relegated to. In theater, it's what you see is what you get. It's alive. And to have it recognized in black in today's society is extremely important because it gives us the diversity of our past, our present, and that which will be our future. The, the theater uh, is a place that holds the mirror uh, up to nature and there are a lot of uh, interesting things to uh, be examined now to hold the theater uh, up to. It's a very uh, peculiar time in our society, in our history, and the theater is a place where we bounce ideas uh, across and when they come from uh, within the black community, uh, they're all the more resonant. So uh, it's uh, uh, because we, 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 we give that extra something uh, sometimes. So uh, theater is critical. NAACP uh, is critical. And so uh, I'm, I'm uh, pleased to be here tonight. You know, it's very important to support urban theater because we are urban. And what is urban is us. It characterizes who we are as a people and it's what we want to see. So as soon as we raise the bar in that, we can raise the bars of people and all the entertainment we do. That's why I'm here. If we have urban theater, we won't have a future. We've all got to go out and so as we go out and support the films, we've got to support the stage too. Um, otherwise, our history will be lost. Hi, it's Sakina, the creative director of tonight's show. It's been such a great experience working with the NAACP, being around such talented individuals, being able to watch them rehearse and perform and bring it all together tonight for you. It's going to be amazing. Have an amazing show prepared. I know we've been working really hard with the whole technical aspect and the creative and music and everything is going to be wonderful tonight. It's been such a blessing, so I'm glad that they had me this year. Creative direct this whole shebang. <laughs> I think it's important to support urban theater in our society because the urban theater represents us. It's our stories, um, it's our actors, it's us really letting the world know who we are through the art of theater. So um, we got to support it, we got to. We started this almost 30 some years ago. It was the idea that theater is from which we come. Uh, from, from which we come with, we had nothing else. We had the church, and we had our own little garages, and we had our own theater. We have grown, and this, and, and this is where you get your start from in the entertainment industry. When you can't go nowhere else, you can come back to theater. A simple uh, answer to that, we have an urban community. Uh, simple. <laughs> you know, for me, the support of urban theater is so important because, believe it or not, the foundation of true and real people is their appreciation and their use of the arts. It's one of the last places that we have left to truly tell our story in our own words with our own music. That's why it's so, so very important. I mean, most people know that I use my love of the arts in my activism and the fight against HIV and AIDS. So I invite you all to come out Saturday, October 9th for the 20th annual Divas Simply Singing, where we will raise our voices in song and commitment to fight the good fight against HIV and AIDS, acknowledging that we all know that AIDS affects us all. DivasSimplySinging.com. Log on, buy your tickets, be there.
It is so important to support urban theater in today's society because there are not a lot of people who understand how it gives back to the community, how it inspires the young people of the community, and it contributes to the future. If you look at theater and what inspires people to sing, to dance, to, to act, so many things that we take for granted, like the arts, I think urban theater continuously reminds us of how many beautiful people there are and how many talented people there are. So support urban theater, and I always, always have. Well, I think it's important to support urban theater in today's society simply because it's a dying craft overall, whether you're black or white. And anytime you have a minority coming into a game that's predominantly white, I think that everyone, any ethnicity, has to support that and make sure that we get out there and we spend the money, we show the networks and the executives and the studios that no matter what color you are, if you have a good story, great acting, everyone wants to see it and the message is universal. And theater is the core of all crafts, so we definitely have to support the theater. Nobody else is really doing it. Theater is a, a slowly dying breed. And it's, it's really important to keep the nature of the love. I started in theater in Alabama. That's all we had was theater. There was no TV. There was no film, um, you know, commercials and, and things like that. So for me, it's something that's near and dear to my heart, something that I'm really passionate about. I think it's really important to support urban theater in today's society because theater is a really amazing opportunity to connect. It really shows off the actor, the production, and everything that goes into it. Um, it takes a lot of hard work, and I think that a lot of times we forget about that and we just look at the film industry, but some of the greatest actors come from the stage, and it's really important that we support our actors. Simple question. Why should we support urban theater? Why is it important? It's easy, because urban theater tells our story. You know, it, it projects, it, it um, regurgitates all of who we are. We are urban America, at least those of us who dwell in the cities, but even those who dwell in the countryside. We're all connected. So theater allows us to tell our stories and to amplify who we are, who our spirit is, who our souls are as a people. So it's absolutely important for us to, for, you know, to absolutely um, promote it, support it, and be part of it for those of us who work in very, very important to support urban theater in society. Of course, this is a, how a lot of us African Americans have been able to get put on, you know, through through the uh, uh, the, the arts and, and through Broadway and through theater. So it's very important for all of us to to pay homage to where a lot of our people who have paved the way for us youngins like myself to get where we are today. So it's very, very important. So support, keep supporting it. Okay, it's so important to encourage urban theater because we all need encouragement. It's a crazy, crazy world. We're going through this crisis. You know, um, Obama has his work cut out for him. So, you know, it's always great to be uplifted. So it's so important. Hi, I'm Darren Henson, and, and, and I'm talking about why it's important to support theater in general, not just urban theater, but specifically urban theater because it shows and it supports the great work that people of color are doing all over this country, whether it's regional theater, whether it's Broadway, whether it's theater that is uh, put on DVD, it shows what people of color are doing from the production side, from the acting side, from the direction side, from the music side. So, of course, it is important, and we're here today at the NAACP Theater Awards to support and celebrate that. Hi, my name is Erica Ash, nominated for Best Supporting Actress for Baby It's You. I think it's very, very important to support urban theater because it's slowly dying away, and I think that it's, um, it's the best way for especially young black actors to make their stake, um, not only in theater, but in movies as well, because a lot of people are pulled from live theater into movies and either and end up there if they're not. So thank you to all people who do support live theater and please, please, please continue to support if you're not, start. It's so important to support urban theater in today's society because I think that we really have a voice and I think that a lot of the ways that we may have been projected over the couple years is not true to who we are. And so um, the quality level and just show the truth and who we are. And um, I don't know, I, can, I can't really verbalize it better than that except for that you know, it's for our children, it's for our legacy, it's for our families, and it's for really representing who we are as a people. So, you gotta support it. It's essential to support urban theater, not just today, but every day, because that's the genesis of young artists in this world. I mean, you don't start on TV, you don't start in film. You start in theater, that's the real acting. You know, there, there is no second take, there is no do-over. This is where the real artists are developed. If we don't support and nurture theater on all levels, in all states, 
we're going to run out of artists. We're not going to develop new artists for the future. So I'm here to pay my respects, to pay homage to all the young artists that are starting out in theater, and of course all of our big stars in theater that are showing us, myself included, how it's done properly. Bless you, NAACP. Bless all the nominees and award recipients. Much love. The 2010 NAACP Theater Festival and Awards Highlights. Thank you for watching.